so we had uh, the narrow connect and uh, who are you? Yeah, I'm Attila Ambrush, uh, responsible in Europe for the 96 boards related activities. Uh, I'm trying to connect our suppliers to the 96 boards community and to have them on board and, and make as many mezzanines as baseballs as we can. So uh, what, what are the latest ones around here? So we have uh, two kind of products here uh, for baseboards which is on the 96 board uh, specification like the Renaissance one yeah. uh, based on RZG1 can, can you hold this? Yes So what is uh, special about this one? What is the chipset? So this is a, a Renaissance application processor yeah. uh, It's really uh, targeting the HMI uh, sector and now you can use it uh, inside the 96 board uh, eco ecosystem uh, uh, we choose to use the extended version of the of the specification to have uh, onboard Ethernet, Fi, and other connectivity, which is not uh, available on the standard uh, extended uh, extension. Can you turn it around icon. to show all the ports? Of course. So, uh, what what is the chipset? Chipset is RZG1, which is uh, from Renesas. What? Uh, ARM it's a Cortex A7 dual core. Dual core A7. Yes. Uh, it, but it looks like a big chipset right there, right? It is. Yeah. And uh, and uh, fast Ethernet, gigabit? Uh, it's fast. Full sized? Full sized Ethernet socket, yeah. So is this the Enterprise ed edition? No, this is the uh, consumer extended? CE specification, but the extended version. Extended yeah. consumer edition? Yeah. Uh, so what's the price on that one? Oh, actually it is only in prototype phase, so we yeah. don't uh, have a, a price for this yet. So, yeah, we are looking forward to have the mass production and, and, and make it available on Dero.com. And uh, what else are you showing here? So, actually we have a, a bunch of baseboards still uh, yeah. from Novtech, they are another partner of Arrow. Oh, we have the Meerkat board, which is a NXP IDATMX7 based, uh, fully compatible with the, with the 96 uh, commercial one, a consumer edition uh, specification. Uh, and we have also Camilan, which is a Intel Cyclone 5 based uh, CE compilant board. So it's a, a Altera GPU uh, FPGA? Yeah, now it's Intel, but yeah, Altera. Yeah. And uh, so there are prices on these? Uh, actually, uh, it's uh, 190 rand, uh, the Camelon, because of the other yeah. chip. And in the box, you also have already the adapter uh, and the pre-flashed -pre SD card. So 190? Yes. For this one? Yes. So um, that's a, a dual-core ARM Cortex-A9 yeah. uh, with an FPGA. And this one is uh, NXP. NXP, I don't have seven. And this is uh, how much? Oh, I don't know this by Maybe heart. I need to check. Okay. Yeah. And over here we have some next ones, some <coughs> other just different ones. So these are already uh, mezzanine cards. So you can extend the functionality of your baseboard with this. Uh, we have here a uh, STM32 sensor board. It's uh, occupy, uh, populates a uh, uh, STM chip and there was a lot of uh, extended connectors to, to be used uh, with external sensors or, or interfaces. We have here the next biometrics uh, fingerprint sensor, uh, fully licensed firmware is, is on the board, so you can just uh, plug and play and, and record, uh, store and uh, identify uh, the fingerprints. Nice. So, and below there, it's only a, a, a hub for not using the UART connectivity, but you can use just a, a USB micro to connect a Surya port to your, to your board. Nice. And down there, community is growing. What's yeah. next? So, yeah, uh, I don't want to announce these yet because it's under uh, designing phase, but we have in the, in the pipeline, I see more than five mezzanines which, which is coming and those are a couple of baseboards. So the mezzanines are a great thing, right? Yes, they are. Because it expands. It expands the functionality, yeah. And uh, people can do networking, IoT, all kinds of stuff. Controlling, sensoring, yeah. 
Nice. And uh, which is this one? The layer scape. Here we have the, yeah, this is an NXP layer scape based uh, uh, board. This is an Enterprise uh, edition of the 96 board. Uh, as you can see, we, we made it by uh, this version. So you have a, a song uh, in the middle. This is not a part of the specification, but because of the carrier board, it still uh, complies to the to the specification. So you can take it off. This yeah, you part? can take it off. And what's below it? PCB. <laughs> PCB. Nothing right. extra. But if you start to develop on the on the carrier board, and yeah. you want to make custom carrier board yeah. for your uh, additional uh, project, then it's easy to 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 just buy this one and use your own carrier board right. and develop on the 96 board right? Nice. Uh, so how's it going? Uh, oh, there's also this one. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. Actually, actually, it's not, not from us. Yeah. Uh, it's a university project and it was just left here Potentially to... Potentially you could be distributing all this kind of stuff, right? Yes. You're a distributor. Yes, we are. So, uh, how do uh, kind of like startups get in touch or... Somebody who has new ideas. So actually, we are running uh, or, or a member of the Indiegogo. Uh, this is uh, yeah the marketplace for the for the startups and the new ideas. And uh, all our team is uh, checking all the Indiegogo project campaigns. And uh, if we see something interesting, we all already get in contact with them and offer our support and our. Uh, infrastructure to make their uh, projects successful. So uh, it's a big deal that if you can work with a startup, then it uh, becomes a real product. Otherwise, they will not be able to do it, right? It is yes. because it's not easy. You have it all is. the expertise that can that can help. Of course, we can provide service partners. Even in the uh, Aero organization, we have a lot of software engineers, hardware engineers who can support their project.